in case you're wondering how to increase the pressure of your well I've got a 2.9 cologne oil pump here um, it's probably the same for most of the 70s 80s and 90s boards um, or at least the cologne and such um, I have noticed a difference to these ones here the Pintos have a solid cap here whereas this 2.9 one has a threaded insert which is already a bonus um, in case you don't have a threaded insert and you have more like a Pinto pump or something else with a solid cap the easiest way to do it would be to drill out a hole and maybe tap it to M6 or M8 um, like this one here is um, and then you can sort of follow the guide from then on um, yeah so this pump's got my 2.9 24 valve Coswell engine as far as I'm aware the pumps are the same for all the 2.9s uh, I'm sure you guys will mention that one if it's not but yeah and it yeah, should be very similar to the other pumps like the Pintos and all that so this should be fairly universal so what I'm going to do is go on down there a minute and see so there. Yep, so like that. So if you've already drilled out your plug and got it to that stage, then you need to make a puller to get it out. So the simple way I found of doing that was to use a M8 bolt uh, or M6 or whatever yours is, a socket will fit over the plug, and yeah, make yourself a little DIY puller. You might really have something on the shelf, but if not, this here will do. I'll do it in the one video. So, thread that one in. What was going wrong when you were recording it? Eh? So, thread them in, and down. And then, simply when it's in, you, it might be hard to start with, but you should be able to get a span on it. And, bit of force. Tighten that one up and the plug should come out. Like so. Uh, bearing in mind there's a spring behind this, so it may pop out under a bit of tension. Let's get loose now. In there you've got your pressure relief spring and that basically governs at what pressure the pump will essentially relieve some pressure so to keep pressure steady. Obviously we want to increase this pressure so we can get higher oil pressure. Um, it's, it's obviously isn't a replacement for an ACA pump. If your pump's an ACA, change your pump. This is maybe more for performance. Um, I'm running a well, Cosworth engine to start with and then got twin turbos so the extra oil pressure will be handy um yeah if your pump's knackered don't don't try to do this to fix it because it's just not not gonna work so now that's out what we need to do is make some spacers so this particular bung here will fit a m8 washer that's ground down so i've been in ground a few of them down ready uh somewhere there they are so we'll get them put in the cap inside like so they should fit fairly snug in there that's going to increase the tension on the spring okay. right. that one that will still sit in there like so so once that's all done so once you ground on your washers I've gone for two washers here um, it's a bit trial and error I know you can find the information on the Pinto's online where they say to use two washers, but for the 2.9 pumps out there's nothing, so it's... I'm going to try it and see what happens. Uh, it shouldn't make it too high pressure. Uh, just a little bit extra tension there. 
So we'll do is we'll pop him back in there. Uh, clean out your hole and your blanking plug before you put it back in. Now, if you have a pinto or some sort of a seal plug, what you're gonna have to do is the hole you've previously made in it to remove it, you're gonna have to weld it back up. Uh, it doesn't matter on the 2.9s because the, if we got it on somewhere, the gasket sits over that and then the pickup also sits over that one and clamps it down. So the plug can't come out and it's sealed. On a Pinto, it doesn't it overlaps as far as I'm aware, so you're going to have to seal that hole back up again. So weld it back up, grind it down smooth, and then you'll be to the same stage with washers. Clean off your blanket plug. Get him sat in there. Give that one a go clean up, be safe. Now, at this stage, you might want to put a bit of sealant on the piston if you're using a pinto pump or something, um, just to ensure it's not going to come out again, it's not going to leak. Uh, obviously, with my gasket, it's not necessary at all. So, slide him back in there again. Get him a bit started by hand, sir, as you see. And now, you could probably press this in a vice, or being very careful with a block of wooden hammer, you could probably get it back in again. I've got a press, so we'll go and press it in properly. That should sit. Yes. Somewhere it might stay. Without falling off, hopefully. That should sit up in there. I'm going to use a bit of alley to be safe. Sure, it's going in straight. I wish that one is moved. Don't let your brother borrow your press as well, because he'll bend it. Reaches it stop. You don't want to force it any further because inside the ball is a lip and it will only go that far. So, there we have it, it's sitting back flush where it was before. And that should be it. With it now, there's the spring is spaced out about another three mil ish, and actually with extra pressure. Uh, I'll put up in the description on the video now what the final pressure is once I know. Um, but until the engine's back in, I'm not going to point that one out. But yeah, as simple as that. That is a basic guide on how to increase the pressure on a 2.9 balloon pump. Probably the same with a 2.8 and all the Pintos and probably even the crossbar, I guess. Very similar old Ford stuff. Yeah, if you enjoyed the vid, maybe give it a like, comment, or tell me what I've done wrong, and um, drop me a subscribe. Cheers.